Uh, it's under the Australian Securities and Investment Commission. Um, we're going to review a few things today. We're going to talk about our ownership. We're going to talk about our operational structure. Uh, we're going to go into my background, the ASIC regulations we have to follow, as well as the different account types and our trading platform. I'm also going to take a little bit of time to talk about technical analysis and how you can use our platform to protect yourself. Right up here. All right, sorry about that. Uh, and then we'll save your questions and comments for the end. Now, previously, uh, you may know Apex FX Trading as a company that was in Jordan uh, offering Forex. Um, this company was owned by a U.S. company uh, based out of Delaware, and it has since stopped business. Now, we're currently regulated in Australia. Now, it's important to remember that the Jordan company no longer exists, but the ownership, the Delaware company, still has ownership in the Australian entity. And basically, you're going to get the same great service and that you've come to know and love with tighter regulations to protect your investment. Apex is a wholly owned subsidiary of Apex FX Trading LLC, a Delaware corporation. Uh, Apex Derivatives, again, is regulated by the Australian Securities and Investment Commission. And we have a lot of rules and regulations we have to follow to keep that license intact. We operate our business out of Sydney, Australia. And we have 24-hour support in Arabic, so we support our Jordan clients. This is a brief overview. Again, we're regulated as a market maker under ASIC. So what that means is we stand pressed, ready to buy and sell at a specific price. We offer you the price to trade, and it's your decision whether or not you want to take it. Um, again, it's the same investors that you've come to know and love, but it's a new company, and it's regulated in Australia. Uh, our client funds are required to be domiciled in Australia. We're working on a solution to have our Jordan clients be able to fund locally and then have that money come to Australia. It's the brief background on myself. Uh, I worked with Forex.com. I was responsible for getting them regulated uh, in the UK, in Australia, and I worked with them in the Cayman Islands. Uh, the most important thing to me are regulations and doing it right and protecting the client investment. So some companies you may find can offer things that we can't, but that's because they're not in a regulated environment and they don't have laws they need to follow. Some of the ASIC regulations are very basic. They know your client. So when you invest with us, we have to get background from you. We have to get stuff on your trading experience. We have to get documentation on your, your ID. Now, what that allows us to do is we know our clients, and we know where our funds are coming from. So we can match your funds when they come to our bank account with your account. And the important thing here is when you withdraw your funds, they go back to you. So some people have concerns about sending money overseas. But with the ASIC regulations, you're always going to get that money back. It's heavily protected. And these funds are held in a segregated account. Now, what that means is we cannot commingle our client assets with the expenses of the business. So should something ever go wrong, your investment is fully protected and will come back to you. We're also required to follow daily net capital procedures. Now what that means is not only do we have to have your money in a segregated account, we also have to have capital on top of that to make sure we can cover any wins you may have. So this is another added protection for your investment. There's also client rights under ASIC. Now what that means is, should you have an issue, should you have a dispute that you can't resolve internally, you can always go to the Financial Ombudsman Service. Now what this allows you to do is you can argue your claim. And if there's something that we can't resolve, you can go to them and they will help you resolve the issue. So anything that may arise while you're trading with us, you can always find a solution. There's client rights. You are protected. Your investment is heavily protected with us. Um, and another important thing to mention is that we cannot give personal advice. Uh, what that means is we can't take into account your financial situation. We can only give general advice on how to use our system to protect your investment and to reduce your risk in the market. As we all know, Forex and derivatives are a high-risk market, and we can teach you how to use our platform 
to reduce that risk. It's the basic overview of the accounts that we offer. Uh, we do 200 to 1 leverage on many accounts. We have 100 to 1 leverage on our standard accounts. And we do a pro trader account for our higher investors. Uh, this we set uh, the le leverage to 100 to 1, but we can work out whatever you want. The most important thing here is that we're going to make the situation work. If you need something, we're going to give you the leverage that you need. Um, it can be adjusted upon request. We also offer funding in the US dollar, Australian dollar, and New Zealand based currencies. So if you feel that you want to invest in Australian dollars because it's strong now. And when you withdraw your funds, you think it will still be strong at that point. You can trade on our platform in that base currency. I just want to talk a little bit about the world famous MetaTrader platform. Uh, you, you all know it's award winning. I'm sure you've seen it before or used it before. It's a very easy system to use. It has several features that can help you protect yourself. Um, and it offers many capabilities and it's the ease of use, the trading, that's very important here. I'm also going to go into a bit of the technical analysis and my five basic rules of trading. So what we're going to do is we're going to review how I can use the MetaTrader platform to make these rules and put them in place. Now, it's important that you never trade against the long-term trend. So when you pick a currency that you want to trade, whether it be Aussie, Euro, Yen, you start from a daily or weekly chart and then you find that long-term trend. Now, after you make a decision on where the market is going, you can take that time, you place your stop loss and your limit orders, and that helps you protect your investment. A lot of traders we see, when they get started in the market, they don't protect their trade. They leave it open. They say that they're gonna keep their eyes on the screen. But no matter what, there are times where you have to leave your computer. And it's important that you have these stop loss and limit orders in place to protect your trade. It's also important that when you're starting out in the market, you use a risk reward ratio that's low. So we suggest two to one. And what that means is, if you're willing to risk $15 or 15 pips, you're willing to win $30 or 30 pips. So it's important that you find the risk reward ratio that's right for you. But as a suggestion, we recommend you start out in two to one range. It's also important not to risk your entire portfolio at one time. We tend to find that investors come into the market and they heavily trade. They trade almost all of their account. Now, the market can move against you and then you have the concern of being liquidated. So what we recommend is you only trade part of your portfolio. Take 25% or whatever percentage works for you, but a low percentage, and manage your investment. See how it goes. If it increases, then take the time to add more, to, to, to place a, a, another trade if you're winning. It's also important to use trailing stops. So winners never become losers. Now what that means is when the trailing stop moves with you and the market goes up, the trailing stop will continue to follow you so that if you do have a positive trade, you won't have a negative trade if you get stopped out. This is just a, a daily chart on the Australian dollar. It's kind of hard to see on this, but the overall long-term trend has been up. We've seen the Australian dollar in the uh, 110 range against the US dollar. So looking at this chart, the long-term trend we would see to be increasing. When you add indicators to this, you'll see that the stochastics indicator, again, it's kind of hard to see on this, it's overbought right now. So the long-term trend is positive and you're seeing that the currency is overbought. But you can't see it coming down to the oversold level. So what that means is there's high buying, and there's been high buying in the currency back since uh, March of 2011. Looking at a short-term chart and using a Fibonacci retracement, you're going to see that the currency has come up and hit again about that 109.7 level and you're going to see that it's going to either break out or it's going to retrace and come back down. So looking at all these indicators together, looking at the fact that the long-term trend is positive, looking at the stochastics that it's overbought, and looking at the Fibonacci retracement, my anticipation will be that currency is going to break out. But again, this is the decision that you have to make. 
Again, it's important to remember that all of this is just general advice. I can't go into specifics of what to buy and sell. Again, that's ASIC regulation. Um, I also want to just give a brief reasons why you should trade with Apex. Uh, we're offering tight fixed spreads. So typically with the larger companies, you're seeing fractional spreads or floating reduced spreads. And what this does when the market is volatile, those spreads can widen. And when they widen, the spreads are, they become too much. With a fixed spread system, you always know what you're getting into. You always know what your cost is going to be. And that's very important. And again, we offer the award-winning MetaTrader platform with the tools to help you be successful. Uh, we're also doing a 20% initial bonus offer for all of our clients. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're trying to get back some of the old business that we had in Jordan. We believe that the, the, the structure, the clients here, are very important to bring back. Um, and we're also offering 37 currencies with gold and silver. Indices are soon to come, uh, and oil will come as well. So those products will increase as time goes on. And for our Jordan clients, our Middle Eastern clients, we're offering the Shirai account with no swaps, no interest. So you don't have any concerns there. And again, you're getting superior customer service from Forex and CFD specialists regulated under ASIC. So all of us on the phone are required to take licensing exams to speak to our clients. So when we give you general advice or we teach you how to use the system, we're here to give you the right information to be successful. And again, you're getting the security of knowing you're trading with a well-capitalized, well-regulated company. So it was a very brief overview of what Apex has to offer, and I'd like to answer any questions you might have. Any here? No, com no comments, no questions? <laughs> That's pretty much everything. Thank you very much. شكرا ثانك يو مستر كريس اذا في اسئله في حدا حاب يوجه اسئله مستر كريس دو يو وونت تو هاف سم سم كويستشنز يا هلا في حدا حاب يوجه اسئله للسيد كريس بدي اسال عن 20% كيف بتضيفوا على الحساب about the 20%. How uh, how does the 20% work? All right, so we're offering 20% on the first 2000 that you deposit with us. And anything above that, we're giving 4% up to a maximum bonus of $6,000. This is just on your initial investment. Any other questions? Repeat it again. We don't understand. So what we're offering is 20% on the first 2,000, and we're offering 4% on anything above that with a maximum bonus of $6,000. So this is just on your initial investment with us. Thank you. I want to ask you about uh, the deposit in Jordan. How are we going to deposit uh, and send it to Australia? Through banks? Or which, which the way? That's a very good question. Uh, we're, we're initially using our JP Morgan Chase accounts in Australia to handle our client funds. But we're working on a relationship in Jordan that will allow our clients to fund here. And then we will take care of domiciling the funds in Australia. So you will be able to deposit with local banks and the speed of your transactions will be instantaneous or as quick as the banks can handle it in Jordan. So your investment can be put in your account almost immediately. We also offer deposits through PayPal and money bookers. So you can deposit using your credit card or debit cards with us. Anything else? Yeah, it's still, it's still about the deposit. What about if the account in danger? 
and you need to deposit uh, right away. Uh, so if I, if I put money in the bank and I have the receipt that I deposited the money in the bank, uh, the receipt will be enough, like if I fax it to the company, it will be enough. At this time, we don't, do, we don't accept receipts as a form of payment. We need the funds to actually be domiciled in the account. Uh, if you need an instantaneous transaction, it's recommended you use PayPal, and then you can deposit with your debit card, which will come out of your bank account and right into your client account with us. Will there be any charges on PayPal? Uh, there will be charges. Those charges are around 1%. It depends on the size of your investment, uh, but those charges are only on the way in when you deposit. So I pay it or uh, Apex uh, pay it? The initial transaction will be covered by Apex, but deposits after that, the client will be responsible for. Thank you. About uh, slippage. Slippage. You have slippage? Slippage? Yeah. Uh, in we have a very tight uh, data feed from eSignal. So interactive data gives us the best rates that any provider can have. So any market has slippage. It's silly to say that there's no slippage, there's no gaps in the market. But we fill our clients at a rate that is best for them. So we honor, we have stops that fill at the best rate possible even though the market gaps. About uh, orders in weekend. I'm sorry? Orders in weekend. weekend. Orders, on the, orders on the weekend? Open orders or orders to get into the market? Uh, for open orders, the market can open and the position can increase or decrease rapidly. So it's important that you keep an eye on it and you have your stop loss and limits placed before the market opens on Monday. But your order.